Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, it's gonna be my first ever cross training session. I've spoken to local, no, he's not even local, elite athlete, Jake Smith, sent him a DM on Instagram and he kindly replied and he sent me a session to do on the assault bike at my local gym. Um, but first you might be like wondering, what well, Cole, why are you wearing glasses? So these are anti-blue light glasses. I bought these as a recommendation from Stephen Scullion. Um, I just wanted to say that they've really improved my sleep. So if you've been thinking about getting a pair, highly recommend it. This is not me plugging a brand or anything. Um, um, I think they were two pound off sheen. So yeah, by all means, get some anti-blue light glasses. They've definitely helped my sleep. Um, but yeah, anyway, before we head to the gym, I've actually booked an osteopathy um, appointment with an osteopath. Um, just to get kind of like another final look at my knee because it's still not 100% right. I've been for a run um, and I just want another opinion on it um, just because I don't know what else I can do. And even when I've got, I've had a few days with no pain whatsoever, I go for a run and the pain comes back. So it's like, how long do I wait? So essentially, I'm going to bring you with me, film as much as possible. I'm not sure how much I can film in the gym. Um, and yeah, I guess this is kind of like Cole's rehab <laughs> episode one. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a series. I'm hoping I'm not going to be out that long. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's head to the osteopathy appointment. So guys, just arrived at the osteopath. Um, just kind of waiting to go in now. You might be thinking, Cole, you're starting to be an osteopath. Why would you go and see one? Surely there's someone that you know that would be able to do it for free or or cheaper, for example. Um, but quite quite honestly, I like a kind of an unbiased opinion. Someone who um, kind of genuinely. I'm, I'm paying for the service essentially um and i think osteopathy is really great in terms of they treat you like a whole body so if, if it's the hip that's causing the knee they're going to look at the try and work about what's kind of contributing try and find the primary lesion we call it um that's potentially causing the symptoms of my knee um so yeah so i'm just gonna wait, wait out here um go in get some treatment hopefully um and have a better understanding of what's going on with my knee because obviously i'm still a student so I've, I, I can't figure it out so i'm hoping someone a bit more experienced can um but yeah highly recommend seeing osteopath if you've got any injuries or anything um yeah you can blame me if, if it goes badly but all practitioners are different so you just got to find one that works for you um because osteopathy has got such a wide scope of kind of different techniques different theories um so you just got to find one that works for you essentially but anyway Let's go uh, see if I can get my knee sorted. So guys, back from the appointment. Um, so big thank you to Ben at Southeast Osteopathy. If you live locally um, and you need an osteopath, head over to him. Um, did a really good job, was really happy with it. Um, obviously only for the next 18 months because then I'll be qualified and then he can come see me. Uh, no, all jokes aside. Um, yeah, so he's pretty. He's 100% confident it's an enthesitis, which is what I thought and that's what people thought that I'd previously um, consulted. So that's absolutely fine. Um, so I've got some acupuncture done, which means that I actually can't really go to the gym now because you don't really want to exercise after you've had kind of heavy treatment. So I've got some some kind of massage um, and some medical acupuncture um, just to get that kind of the blood flow into the tendon, which is really important. So if you had any tendon injuries, acupuncture could be really useful for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go home. Um, yeah, it means no exercise today, which is not always a bad thing. Obviously, um, I want to kind of get that heart rate up if I can to try and keep that cardiovascular fitness. Um, but I did manage to run five miles yesterday through the pain. Um, so I guess I've managed to work the heart a little bit. So yeah, I'm just going to rest today. Um, and then he said I can cross train from tomorrow. So that's absolutely fine. So I can still do some assault bike stuff like, um, the session that Jake, uh, Smith has sent me kindly. Um, and yeah, so yeah, it's not all sunshines and rainbows. Unfortunately, sometimes you've got to take the bad, um, mental health has greatly improved. I think I've managed to kind of compartmentalize the injury um so i'm not feeling so bad about it just kind of it is what it is i can only do what i can do um and just to be patient really um four months or well, years of running is not going to be evaporated in a couple of weeks of of injury so yeah i'm going to cross train tomorrow but for the rest of the day it seems like rest is the best thing uh after that acupuncture i can do some upper body stuff so i might do some calisthenics like push-ups and things like that but i don't know it never interests me really um but we'll see anyway yeah let's head home Bloody cross <clears throat> So guys, as you can probably see, <laughs> I'm getting ready to go for a bike ride. Um, I'm a massive, massive novice when it comes to cycling, so I've had to get my dad to set the bike up. I'm in what I imagine a cyclist wears. I found some yellow lensed glasses in my house, um, a bike helmet. Um, I think they wear half tights a bit like runners do, so I've gone with that. Um, some 
orange top that I think my dad gave me when I was really little. So um, yeah, safe to say the bike feature on the watch has not been used um, at all, I don't think, um, which is, you know, might as well experiment. So yeah, today's Sunday, gonna try and try and emulate kind of like a long run with the cycle. So I'm gonna get out, try and get out for a couple of hours if I'm not bored out of my brains. Um, I'm hoping that will be a lot more exciting than kind of staring at the wall like I've been in the gym. Um, yeah, so today's the next day, so I had acupuncture yesterday, um, and it is much better. The acupuncture did aggravate the symptoms yesterday, which is really good. It shows that it's getting a lot of blood flow in there. Um, today I've woken up with absolutely no pain. I can't recreate pain. Um, so yeah, it's a good sign. So I'm going to cross train today, and then if, if I can get through two hours of the bike um, with no pain, then great, you know? So yeah. I'm gonna take the GoPro with me. Um, it's gonna be a baptism of fire. Never, never been on a cycle before, um, especially not by myself on a road bike. So I'll make it up as I go along. I'll be fine. Um, I know how to drive, so I know the the, the laws of the road. But yeah, so I'm gonna try and take you with me a bit like a long run. Um, but yeah, be prepared for a bit of a mess. Here's the bike. Um, any of you bike fans out there, it's a giant bike. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, let's go. It's not very cold outside, so I'm actually not really sure if I've got too much on. Um, I've heard that it can still get quite bitter, even if it's not that cold, just because obviously you're cycling kind of quite quick into the wind. Um, so I'll just cover the arms up and got in some reflectors so I don't get killed, essentially. Because, um, yeah, being a bit of a reckless driver, I know there's reckless drivers on the road, so, you know, let's go. How not to cycle 101. Here we go. <laughs> the yellow glasses for uh, low light levels. Oh, there's a car coming. I'm going to get on the bike in a second. Um, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going to go. Um, GoPro's in the side of these Sky pockets. Um, but yeah, safety is, is a priority on this. I'm not going to be risking my life to film anything. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Very light cycling. <laughs> You've done about 6k. Just gonna do a massive, just gonna do a massive loop around Kent. I'm uh, using my dad's bike so it's fit to him. Back's killing me. Nice to get the legs moving though. Whoa. 26 kilometers done. Roads aren't too busy, which is lovely. So yeah. Probably end up doing about 40, I imagine. Just doing a big loop. I'm okay at running. I'm pretty bad at cycling. You're never gonna see me swimming because I'm even worse at that. Crikey, these hills are killing me. Oh, I managed to find some country paths, so I think I'm going the right way. Um, yeah. Oh, glad I wore these glasses, everything's so bright, easy to see. Whew. So guys, we're done. Oh, finished with the bike. I think I've done about an hour and 45 minutes, but that's enough for me. Oh, just quads. Um, but the good thing is, no pain. Um, so yeah, see if it flares up for the rest of the day. Um, going out for lunch for my mum's birthday, so happy birthday, mum. Um, so yeah, hopefully it doesn't flare up, but yeah, just need to get out of the house for similar duration to a long run, and that's what I've done. Um, so yeah, hopefully not too long from back running. So guys, back from the cycle, I have to say it's not my cup of tea. Um, I much prefer running, but hopefully a couple more days. I've got another acupuncture session today. Um, today is now the day after the cycle. 
um, just to see if I can finally, I can feel like a little bit of scar tissue in my knee. Um, so yeah, see if I can finally get back to running. Um, yeah, I've been pretty lucky with this, it hasn't been a horrific injury, but at the same time I've had almost two weeks out now. Um, I'm hoping that the cycling and stuff will have stopped too much loss of fitness. Um, but yeah, anyway, regarding my recent video about me kind of talking about depression, mental health, um, and running with injuries, that sort of thing, the support was insane and I can't kind of explain how much difference a week has made, but knowing... Um, knowing that you're not alone in the in the fight against depression if that makes sense so the amount of people that i did not expect or people that i see and they look really really happy on the outside and they send you a message and they go look man i'm, I'm struggling too thanks for talking about it because i've now started talking to someone so it start it start the conversation but it's it's the people you didn't expect who you think in your head are 100 percent happy and they're just not and they're the ones that kind of really hit home it's like so many more people are, are suffering with it than maybe you think. You might be in your class at school or your 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 office at work and you think you're the only one suffering with it because everyone else seems like they're really happy but actually it turns out it's just something that no one's speaking about so 75% of the room are struggling with their mental health whether they're, they're not happy in their home life or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty scary really but hopefully Every video I make like that will hopefully start more and more conversations. Um, and likewise, I had lots of people message me um, because they didn't feel like they could speak to anyone else. So obviously, continue doing that. I'm always happy to to listen and, and talk. Um, but yeah, just a massive thank you for all the support. It's made, yeah, made me not feel alone <laughs> in this journey. Um, and there has been some really good mental health days the last few days. I have um, not struggled as much. So yeah, it's um, it's been... Yeah, life life changing. I don't know if that's the right word, because um, not much can change in it, or at least you think not much could change in a week. But it's been it's been pretty good. So yeah. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you so much for your support. Honestly, um, I, yeah, you know, please like, subscribe, share with your own buddies, and if uh, yeah, if it's easy, then what's the point? Always here. DMs are always open. Catch you in the next one. Peace.